Welcome to the Auburn Medical Group YouTube live stream. The entertaining medical live stream where viewers can ask real-time questions of real medical doctors. And here are our hosts, Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Gwen Vaughn. And it is the Auburn Medical Group live stream with Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Hey, Gwen Vaughn. That's and, me. And, yeah. And also, we have in the house, Mr. Ed. Hey. And right Welcome. Over, and, and, and superimposed over you, we have Lindsay Entwine's greeting to us. Who's also here. Who is also a part of it. Hi, Lindsay. Yeah. So welcome. Welcome, Lindsay. Welcome, everybody else who's watching to the subject today of mm. payments. Ooh. I think it's called Open Payments. Is that right? Openpayments.cms.gov. Yes. Yeah. CMS being Medicare, Center for Medicare Services. So we'll be talking about doctors and the drug companies and device manufacturers paying them off, paying, paying for them off. influence. Yeah, we're Dude, gonna make that, this that. sound really, really bad. <laughs> and we're going to look at specific doctors and what they've been paid by like the this guy by big and by this guy. Big pharma and devices, or the other way around. Well, we'll yeah, talk about your device. device. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know. I. <laughs> I don't anyways, know how that happened. It'll we, be an interesting conversation. We'll, we'll let you in on that. <laughs> uh, but mine. Oh, I didn't bring my device. I had you it with me. You don't even have it with you. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is because I did get. You do well, know. You I received get, something from. I received a, something. I didn't get paid. But I received it actually something. Said, it, it categorizes them like uh, the it food. It says gift. And, and yours says gift. Yeah. You got a gift from a manufacturer. So maybe we should talk a little bit before we actually show. Uh, the, the website and what it has. And, and you can check the website yourself. There's a link in the description. You can look up your doctor's name. And I encourage you to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it is interesting to see if they have yeah. any influencers behind them. Yeah. yeah. So this whole business, and, and Dr. Gwaine wrote about it in today's drgreennight.com yeah, blog. I encourage you to sign up if you haven't already at drgreennight.com. You wrote about how there... There's actually studies that show. Right. Yeah, yeah. Back in uh, March of 2021, um, the Annals of Internal Medicine published a study uh, where they did a um, review of a bunch of different studies that looked into this and found a direct correlation between payments and then those doctors prescribing that drug. They really did. It, it, it works. We, we prescribe. We, we, <laughs> I think I wrote in my blog, we can be bought off for yeah. nothing more sometimes than a free lunch. A Subway sandwich. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, which is a little scary. So you had a similar experience to, to mine, and that is that during residency, right, when you see a, a drug rep, and, and when I say see a drug rep, you see this person walk into the hospital who is dressed in a suit, or, or women very nicely dressed. Yes. Or super attractive women quite often. Uh, Usually. There, 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 there was something about who they selected for the job. Yep. And, and you know who they are by what they look like. And they had this typical case. It, it's like a briefcase kind of squared off. I, I, Do you know I, the case yeah. I'm talking about? Because uh -huh. they're carrying samples. Yep. And they would bring it in and, and you'd start to salivate. Not, not because, <laughs> not because of the long. woman. But... <laughs> But because, the Pavlovian but because <laughs> they bring you food. Yeah, that's the association. Truly there. Pavlovian. They, they bring you food. No, I can't see. Anyway. Okay. So sorry about that. Hopefully. We, we were talking about Bianca, and she's bragging about the weather up there. Oh, it's only Bianca's 93 degrees. We're in the UK. The, <laughs> in the UK weather. Did, did, we, did we come back? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. That, that was my error. Uh, that was not actually the end of the show. We're still here, and, and you're still here joining us. Um, you can see how many people are on there, right? On the live. Uh, anyway, yeah. so yeah, let's talk. Like let's talk to again. Bianca here. Let me get the the chat up so you can read. There's Lindsay. She, she saw there. her name fall off, and Bianca. she's she's crying right now. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Lindsay saying everyone has a price. Yeah. Ours was a, a free subway lunch. sandwich. <laughs> there is no such thing as a free lunch. You're true. Okay. Truly There's correct. Bianca. Now Bianca's name is up there. I, I hope that's what she was referring. to. I think to. she was re maybe returning to the. We're referring to the end of the thing. We're seeing the name cycle. Oh, is that maybe what we didn't make it there yet. Maybe we didn't make it. Sorry. To name. Yeah, I, I, I may. may have. I don't know. We'll bring it on again at the actual you'll real be, end get of the show. Again. Sorry about that. So <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that. 
So what were we? Well, we're talking about how you salivate because yeah. drug rep means lunch or, or dinner if Free you're on food. call. Yeah. And absolutely, we appreciated that when we were in residency because well, I don't. Well, yeah, it was we were always the at the food. hospital, always eating hospital food. So it was nice yeah. when somebody brought in a yeah, it's an actual <laughs> meal, <laughs> something from the outside world. Yeah. But but while you're sitting there <clears throat> eating it, they're talking to you about their. Their new drug. Yeah, the new drug, That's which always better. Tell us what the new drug was for you. Oh, there were so the many. Uh, yeah, I, I remember Trigenta and Genuvia being new drugs back when I was in residency. Um, yeah, what was it for you? Oh, for me it was Zithromax. Zith, wow. And Biaxin, Clarithromycin. You are. Yeah, yeah those, those were new. I, think, uh, um, I don't know why those ones come Tramadol. to mind. Tramadol. Tramadol, really? It was new. Yeah, um, a lot of the cephalosporins that you, I can't even keep track. I mean, we <laughs> cephalosporins are this class of medicine generation. that's somewhat related to penicillins. So it's an antibiotic, and there's just so many of them that we now refer to them as ceph du jour. <laughs> or at least in residency, that's what we call it because <laughs> we're on the fourth generation at that yeah, point. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of pick one from each generation and just. Yeah. Have those in your mind. Do, do our listeners even know these terms? Probably no. not. <laughs> no, they, they, they would not know. Uh, yeah. that, that's why I say it's an antibiotic related to. Well, Bianca it. says she does take tramadol. Yeah. Oh, so oh. Well, you are in the presence of a doctor who was around when it was coming on the market in the United I remember when. <laughs> So way back when we would learn these brand names with the drug rep telling us right. about them at uh, at a lunch, like I said, Subway, because oftentimes that's what it would Subway. be. It would be like a, a bunch of Subway sandwiches, brand? Baja Fresh and chip bag of chips. And yep. yeah, yeah, for you it was Baja tri- Fresh. Yeah, for me it was Subway. Something that you could get a bunch of to feed a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. And one time I really felt like I scored from the drug rep because <laughs> I what? asked them to get me you got a, this textbook. Wow. Yeah. This, that is scoring. This was a, a gift from Does it say from courtesy a of? I don't think they wrote anything. Oh, wow. You didn't even get a... I think, I think they just that. They got it from me. I kept bugging them. I kept saying, because I knew that on occasion, a, a drug rep would give a book to a resident. Wow. And so I just kept bugging them. Until you know what? I think I, think I got, this, I got my book pediatrics for, book from a drug rep. You did? Okay. Yeah. So this was my big score. Yeah. Um, until. Nice. Until you got something. We'll show. Well, that's, that's probably a what? hundred something dollar book there? Probably. So I think that's about what it cost. Okay, so should we should we show you our? So you, you go Ooh. to the website. Yeah, pay, you can look us up. Open payments. Lots of dirt on us. <laughs> and, and it's because it's the law that they have to report this stuff. Right. Yeah. So this is back in. This is part this of. This impacts in, patient care. Yeah. Yeah. Back in 2010, the Affordable Care Act. This was one of the provisions with that. The, okay. the Sunshine Act, they call it. Let's so. see which which. Okay, we'll do we'll do me first. So here's my. All right. And oh my goodness! Look, there's so much to it. It's so what? So what are you? What are we even looking at here? Okay, let's top, walk them through that. Let's talk about the top graph. You see that it goes from Those 2000 are averages. Goes from 2015 to 2021. Man. And the what would, call, would you call that? Yellow or amber or orange? Sure. Line. That's sunshine. That's the mean for the United States for doctors in the United States. Your average doctor is getting on between average three to four thousand dollars a year uh, worth of stuff. Yeah, stuff, meals, stuff. Because they because and they do categorize it in different things. Because they average it out over all doctors. Right. Okay. So the green line that drops way below <laughs> is is right around well a little bit more than half. That's for my specialty, which is family medicine. I think that's what they count my specialty. It's possible yeah. they, they think I'm uh, emergency yeah, medicine, but we'll see if it's the same for, as mine. For family I'm medicine, good. they're getting like half or sixty percent of what the yeah. average is for we like doctors to think overall. We're better than other doctors. <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> you can buy us off for cheaper. That's, that's, what, that's what it is. That's pretty, okay, going like back to my. <clears throat> all right, there's there's that 2020 bump. Oh, look see. at that. So so I'm the blue. See the blue along the very bottom. You can barely see it. See the for blue most, that starts at the, zero the and ends at zero. <laughs> That's me. I'm not. I'm not the green. The average for family medicine, where they think I'm emergency medicine. I don't know which, but they're going to be very similar to each other. So you see a little bump there at 2020, and then there's another 
indetectable bump at 2017. You can't even see yeah, it. You, so you can't tell it's so little. So what were those two things? Well, if you look at the bottom, you'll see them listed. In 2017, on December 14th, $13.85 was spent on food and beverage on me. I don't know where I was December 14th, 2017. It may have been at work and somehow a drug rep got in. Uh, it, it could be that I was at a conference somewhere and they said, oh, yeah, here, Just, you can have a sandwich. Will you please sign here? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And when, been, and when like you that. sign there, they look up your NPI uh, and then national you're part provider of the, identifier and the, the money that they gave and, out, and then they yeah. report it. So, uh, a little bit over thirteen dollars in 2017. What, what was my other one there? So the other one is two hundred forty nine dollars. Two hundred forty nine dollars for a gift. That was March thirtieth of twenty twenty, <laughs> from Echo Devices. Well, some of you have seen my my videos where I'm showing the electronic stethoscope. That's that's what that was. They gave that to me. The company did. Uh, because they know that I have the YouTube channel and that I show things, medical devices that, that are given to me. And so I make videos. And actually, in all honesty, I that, that is my daily carry. That is yeah. the stethoscope I use every day, every time I listen to a patient's heart and lungs, abdomen, sure. breweries in the cranium <laughs> do that all the time huh when, when it happens i'm doing it with that so th that's and in fact the one that i have now um that that price that's listed there that 249 i don't think they have a product that's that inexpensive now they, they oh, really? now have a, a higher end one that's made with parts from uh stedman or litman 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 i'm sorry stedman's the dictionary yeah litman so that's me um yep Two forty nine and thirteen dollars and twenty five cents for a, a lunch somewhere. Let's look at Dr. Gwaines. Unless there's a lot of comments for. No, somebody wants you to explain the boat up at Tahoe, and the new car every oh. year, oh. and all. The <laughs> okay, so M M Mr. Ed, will you explain where I stayed when I stayed at Truckee, not oh Tahoe, but Truckee? Goodness. Where did I stay? I, at a very high place. It was my I condo. Had. And, <laughs> and, and how, much, how much rent was I charged? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you paid a clock. You, you yeah, left a oh, clock. Oh, you should report him. That was a gift. I, I think. Did, no, travel I think, expenses. I think we. I think we left that is a. a um, of the categories. I think we left a, a, a Google Chromecast for for using with your TV. If I don't oh, remember nice. correctly, is that what we left? A Chromecast so people could stream. I don't know. I didn't see if you did. You may not know that it's yeah. plugged <clears> in the back <throat> of the. T oh my goodness! Okay, I think well. next time you're up there, check it out. <laughs> 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 Look behind the TV, and if something's plugged in, I gave that to you. <laughs> that old television that we have up there. <laughs> okay, moving on to <clears> Dr. Gwynn. You didn't leave any headshots? <laughs> <laughs> we got to tell him that story, because yeah. he was just telling me about Bob earlier. <laughs> okay. Here's this a, it's it's a, Maria Mercedes Placentia Valesquez Hola desde Tenerife, Islas Canarias, España. Canary Islands. Canary what? Islands, Span Spanish Bang. Canary oh my Islands. Goodness. And then she goes to English. It, good night. <laughs> that was like, well, yeah, it's bedtime. Mic drop for her. right there. <clears throat> Mic drop. Good night. Good night. I'm out. And then, what's that one from Yaka? Ten hours. I was in. A and E the other night got there at 7:30 mm. p.m. And, and left e. after 5 a.m. A and E is that Amy? Was she watching television? I don't know. What is that like it's your a, it, it's ER? It's a store. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, so let's let's move on. Something in emergency. <laughs> let's move on to Dr. Gwaines. Anyways, let's look at so mine. Here, oh, here, here's Dr. Gwaines. So the, oh my goodness. Again, the, oh yours must not be family medicine. It must have been That's, emergency medicine. Different. So yeah, the. Uh, U.S. mean is the same. You can see it on the top. It looks exactly the way it did on mine. And then for his specialty... See, those family doctors were pretty good. way down Thank there. Thank you very much. You guys are really cheap because you're not even half. Or we just don't like accepting payments. Well, I'd like to think that. You're like a third of the average for a doctor. Maybe the uh, drug companies, they either know we can be bought off for less or <laughs> they know it's just not worth going... Try and try and because or, you're or because there are so many of us untouchable and, and yeah many of us don't just opt out we don't want okay. to be a part of it anyways Look, looking back, back to at, it at, oh, there we go so uh, again the, his specialty the green line is the the mean but his is the blue line that you can't even see off of the baseline until you see that 2018 little, 2018 you see just barely that little bump there you also had one from 2016 again yeah. in, imperceptible because it was 
fifteen dollars for food, food and, and beverage. beverage. People buying me off with. But, but what about this forty dollars worth of food from Air Expanders? I can't think. Doctor Gwen, what is what? the last time I ate forty dollars worth of food? In 2018. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> what are air expanders? <laughs> so I had to look this up because I had no idea what this was and I don't didn't remember it. So apparently it's for it's a thing you can use for breast reconstructions. I don't do that procedure. Probably, probably not just reconstruction. I think augmentation. Yeah, yeah probably augmentation as well. But that's what they <clears throat> so market it as. Air expanders. Uh, it's a balloon <laughs> that is put inside of a breast. And I don't, apparently I wasn't paying attention when they gave me their <laughs> and then talk or whatever. Somehow it has a way, I think, I'm trying to think. I, it seems like I remember one for sailing that you would. You can adjust, yeah. You, could, like, inject you either or, had a, a port to it or you yeah. would actually inject with a needle <laughs> through the skin into it to inject more saline. But these are oh, air expanders. Ouch. So somehow you... <laughs> Can add air to them to help expand to stretch oh, the skin. Oh, they're like you know those shoes, those pump shoes. <laughs> Maybe they're I like. Don't that. think that's what they're, they're like. Reebok pumps, anyone? Okay, all right. So as you're expanding the the tissue for a breast augmentation, or you're mm. saying it was for reconstruction. That's what the website said that I had to look up. Stretching the skin over time. Because I wasn't paying attention at the dinner. Apparently, you have this. I don't recall this at all. For air expanders. And I think I would have recalled if somebody was trying to market to me. <laughs> so three years ago. Something like that. So I think this is an air. I need to. <laughs> family need medicine. To test it. You're not going to be using these. No. Why, why would you market to me? Are you going to dispute it? First, I think I should. I tried to look up how to do that. I got to have a log on to CMS to do it. So I got to uh, try to find that. By the way, Bianca process. corrected Anyways, us. Anyways, there you go. A and E means accident and emergency. Oh. It is oh, like, thank you. Like okay. urgent care and the, the NHS version. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so Dr. Gwain, mm -hmm. again, uh, you were much better than I was. You're barely one single bump over. This Wait, comment's better. You're reading a comment. Should it I says, put it on the screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a guy by the name of Ethan, Ethan Vaughn trying to get through it says, here. Vaughn seems dangerous with altitude change. <laughs> 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 That's great. Thank you for your comment, Ethan. <laughs> I, I should have asked that at this apparent thing I went to. <laughs> so horny. Oh, boy. What was that sound? Do, oh, it's something I wonder who raised that kid anyway. <laughs> do, do not travel over oh, 7,000 feet elevation. <laughs> With these, yeah. Oh, I felt <laughs> something. If we are to lose. Oh, man. Oh, how pressurization you, in the cabin. Even, how would you get to Reno? <laughs> <laughs> do it. That's that's an interesting observation there, Ethan. I think you. <laughs> I you don't know how point. that works. I hope that they're uh, really reinforced, so that's not an issue. Next time but. they visit me to try to buy me off, I'm all masking that. <laughs> um, I could violate. Well, I don't know if I'm his dad. Is it a HIPAA violation if I say that he has COVID? What? I didn't say. I, I'm, I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking a question. <laughs> if, if, if he had You're COVID. You're not his acting would, doctor, would, so that's not a HIPAA violation, okay, right? Because it's right. only between doctor okay. and patient. Ethan, how you doing? Come on. You've got COVID? Come on. Uh, Let us know. That's why All he's, right. he's watching. That's so what. I thought it'd be interesting to look up, be, after showing our... Yeah. How, I looked up both of us. How we got bought off yeah. by the drug industry. Let's, let's look up some doctors we know. <laughs> Uh oh. Without, <coughs> I haven't looked at any of these. Without, so I, I haven't told him who this is. Okay, so the first one. Oh, are we like obscuring the name and I've got to guess who it is? That would so be horrible. This is a different. You're going to have to look over here to see this. This is a different screen. And what it's yes. showing is that this person, in th this doctor in 2021, had 119 wow. payments recorded. For, and it's all food and beverage, the whole thing, the whole that's graph, like the whole pie lunch of the graph. Twice a week, every week. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. Was they're, they're getting meals twice a week, every week. The total amount was $2,000. Now, if you think about it, that that comes out to like about $20 oh, a per, meal. Per meal. So is that going to be like sandwiches for the whole office from Subway? Not really, not no, for an not, office our not size. Not really, certainly. yeah. If it's a really small office, we're just and if it's just one person, one on one, uh, it's like takeout from a, a nicer restaurant and a drink, right? I guess, right? 
So it's a lot of meetings for. But but it's. But you saw all the names of the companies about, still well, let's, on there. Yeah, let's put it back up and show them right. that this was. If you look, you see this one called Abvi. That's a drug. Yeah, uh, that's a drug. We know that one. That, that's around seven hundred dollars to over a year. Amgen, yeah, all, all these are big names that you've heard of. Yeah, all of these are. are uh, I think they're all drug companies. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this person was was getting lunch every other week, and somebody in the office is scheduling for yeah. a different drug rep to come. I, I, and they tell the drug reps, okay, Wednesday's open that. next week. Right. Bring us lunch. Right. Or, or bring the doctor lunch. I, re I remember some, well, I worked in some offices where it was like that. Like every Wednesday was the drug rep day. This yeah. is like a big office where they. So it's still that way at this providers. doctor's office. So who is it? Should, are we not letting it go? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Not, not getting let, it out. On. All right, look at the, look at his face. Ah, oh, I can see that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's I do think another. You guys one. have something going with that sign outside. You know, medical reps are drug reps shot on sight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> be shot on sight. Survivors will be shot again. <laughs> <laughs> Just e kidding. E Ethan's letting us know he's he's okay. <laughs> oh, good, Very cool. Good, Wait, good. minimal symptoms. Is that Ethan or is that the president? <laughs> <laughs> That's I think what they tell everyone. I think they're using the same yes. same terminology there. Our, Ethan and the president. Our, you and the president. Oh, wait, COVID. Uh, you're COVID buddies. Lindsay has something to say here too. Uh, everything was more expensive in Cali anyway. Don't know how anyone affords to live there. Don't know how anybody affords the primary care physicians. <laughs> I guess it's about twenty dollars for lunch. I don't know. Do you think he gets just lunch for just him? I wonder how that works because those offices would, are bigger. He has with, with all of your staff other providers with him. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's more than one provider mm. in this office. Oh, there might be more than one doctor. Oh, that they're billing it towards, or or each provider. But still, they, it's just twenty dollars each time, unless they charge each them provider. Separately. You can probably do that for each Maybe provider. Maybe they, they sign separately. So if you have like. I two, haven't looked up the other doctors, doctors in that office. Two doctors and three or four mid-levels. That's you can get a pretty good okay. lunch for everyone with that. Let's look at something else. So this one. Um, <laughs> so remember. Well, first of all, I'm curious about those that blue line or green line that just. Okay. So the green line and the gold. Not line, green. Sorry. Blue. Remember the the U.S. mean and the specialty mean. I, I will say this person's <clears throat> specialty is internal medicine. Okay. And. Oh, so, 2000. Yeah, yeah, look at this. So if you look really closely at that graph, look at the left side. That blue line is the doctor that goes from oh. 40,000 to 26,000, 40, back up to 40,000, or I guess it's like 30, 38,000 to start with. But it, it hits 40,000 there in 2017. Wow. And then it trails off to, to nothing these last few years here. And so I looked at it, and, and what I put below it was listing some of the 2017, that's the year that he got $40,000 from mm. drug, drug companies. This one called AbbVie, look at it. The date on the right there, 222, is on there twice. Twice they are paying him $2,200 in the same day. And then just uh, six days later, they're getting $2,200 again. And it says what it is. It, it says compensation for services other than consulting, including serving as faculty or as a speaker at a venue ah, other than a continuing other than education CME. program. Oh, okay. So if you you know if you add this up, this guy's getting hundred grand over a four year period from drugs from drug reps. Wow. That's what's going on with wow. and you can just look this up and see who who is who is getting a hundred grand over four years from Drug companies, not me. Now it's forty not, bucks from the boob company. Not <laughs> <laughs> inflatable boob. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's not. Um, usually, it's not just one drug company. Th this guy was. This guy was some kind of a speaker, apparently, for one of the. <laughs> what does that look mean? <laughs> Do you know who it was? No, I'm. I'm so curious. Okay. Another one you're going to have to tell uh, me after. Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the camera right on your face. Oh, and tell you who it is. Watch me sweat. Wait, who? Why am I not understanding what you're saying? I'm, there. I'm really, I don't want the mic to pick it up. Oh, really? 
<laughs> That's why, because you were you were just saying one one name. <laughs> you were not saying like the whole name of the person. Just a single yeah, I syllable. Know, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, you know who wow. I'm talking about. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Interesting. That's why he has the Tesla. <laughs> True. <laughs> now we know how you pay for one of those. Man. Interesting. Okay, Mr. Ed, what do you have to share with us over there? Well, uh, we thought, well, Lindsay, you, you already mentioned that uh, I thought everything was more expensive in California. I don't know why anyone lives there. <laughs> and then Deborah comes back with, uh, can't use those as tax write-off, too. So uh, I guess she's talking about your expenses, I, I guess. I, okay. I, I It probably needs to be a certain amount to report. <clears throat> um, I didn't even know about mine, so obviously I didn't report it on my taxes in 2018. Oh, oh, that we received it? Yeah. I think... Yeah, it's a certain amount I think you need to be I, over for it to right, be but considered I, it. I'm something. trying to think if there's a way that automatically... I would think that person that got paid the 100000 was... Got a 1099 or something like that. supposed to be reporting, from, yeah, because I'm they're, sure. they're reporting on their end. Right. So yeah. he, he's going to have to report it on... Well, speaking engagements aren't falling in that category, are they? They are, but they're not that category specifically. So, well, no, that, that was speaking. That was oh, it, that, that was, was speaking, con- but not but not not consulting. Oh, okay. Sorry. Not consulting. Understood. Serving as faculty, but okay. not at a um, CME event. CME event. So it'd be like one of those dinners. Remember, True. we used to go to those. Yeah. Of course, if we went to one. Now we know about never Air signing expanders. my name again. <laughs> I'm just That's signing right. that guy's name from now on. <laughs> yes, be you, under you the radar. You figured it out. You figured it out. All we gotta do is sign someone else's name. <laughs> Either one of those guys. <laughs> How come so okay, on here so, three times? So I, I took examples of doctors we actually know. You saw the look on his face. It's somebody we actually know. That's that's how common this is. That you can be absolutely shocked at. Whoa, doctor so and so got paid how much? Right. And. What do you suppose happens when he has the choice between a generic drug? Well, that's what that study looked at, right? Yeah. And it very clearly showed that, you know, there is a bias towards prescribing those yeah. medications. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and they don't, they end up costing a lot more to whoever's paying the bill. And are outcomes right. that much better? Yeah, that's, no. If if we're convinced that the outcomes are better, we'll we'll use a name brand drug. We'll use right. a drug that hasn't yeah there are some isn't available as generic newer, yet. I, I think Rebelsis is an example of something that I'm oh using. I was thinking of the uh, newer Noax, the anticoagulation well, yeah, we're, medications. We're, we're like still Eloquist using those. And, yeah, but um, yeah, for the most part, we tried to prescribe generic medications that yeah, in, for the most part, work just as good. It's my knowledge. I've never had a drug rep do tell me on either of those drugs we just mentioned that we would use. No. That aren't available as generics yet. No. And then once they are available as generics, there's just no reason to Not use the brand. Yeah. Except mm-hmm. for um, some with, sometimes with thyroid medications. Yeah. You get more consistent results if you stick right. with, and it doesn't matter which brand name, just stick with a brand name. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just us. Their, their that's our relationship with generics and, and brand names. Lindsay right. has a suggestion for you guys. A suggestion. When you go to those events, just forge a fake signature. There well, yeah, go. that's what you said. <laughs> We're going to use these guys' names. Yep. Now we know. Because <laughs> people know. They've seen them now. Uh, you, and another thing is you looked at um, primary care doctors, an internal medicine guy and a family medicine guy, um, <clears throat> which by and large are less like if we look at specialties, um, they're more. Uh, so I was in, in that uh, research article I read, um, family medicine, I think about 60 something percent of those receive some sort of compensation payment, something, dinner, food. Oh, I'm glad you said Whereas that. Whereas specialists, it's upwards 80% or more of, of specialists are getting some sort of compensation from us, from companies. I looked up a friend of ours who's a pediatrician. A pediatrician? He didn't even show up. Is that because nothing huh. happened or because this is maintained by Medicare and he doesn't, Oh. he's not contracted with Medicare? That may be. That's interesting. Yeah. Or I guess it's possible if there's a disabled child that they would be on. No, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty, pretty possible that he's not even signed up with Medicare. Yeah. So that brings us to the end of another show. Did you have one more? One more statement from Bianchi. See if you can read that. I, I'm not sure what NHS stands for. Oh, NHS is National, National Health, Health Service. Service. Okay. That's just there. Mostly used yeah. generic. 
Yep, if you, I would if you get brand name, they probably play golf with the prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So we've already uh, promoted the Dr. Green Knight blog where there's a great write-up on this very subject. Yes. And of course, if you need we more information. All you, you, the links are there. The links are below. Yeah. Yeah. Um, link to that article that, that I reference is in that as well. Yeah. And of course, if you want to have your name on our end screen that comes up very soon, Use the uh, link to get to Patreon to do that, and they yeah. can get on Patreon for Dr. Green Knight yeah, also. for Dr. Green Knight. I, yeah, as has been done by... Yeah, that is uh, Teresa Roth and uh, Sir Lindsay Antoine. Yes, and also Lindsay Antoine, you'll see her name because she wants it there. <laughs> and because, no, I think it's because she loves being a part of this show and bringing good medical information on to YouTube and out for everybody to have access to. And we thank you, Lindsay. For doing that, and we thank the other people who are on the uh, well, you'll see them very soon who are on the Patreon that like to be a part of that. Until next time, Mr. Ed, Dr. Greenbaum, and Dr. Mark Von telling all of you to stay in good health. Doctors, thank you for another informative session. Auburn Medical Group is located in Auburn, California, USA. Thank you for participating. Please tell a friend and join us again next week.